Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm currently in the commissary parking lot. A commissary, for those of you who don't know, is like a grocery store but on a military base. So I'm here, gonna go in and get some groceries and we thought it would be a fun time to do a cook with us video, just showing you what we've been cooking up for our meals the past few weeks. It's really fun when we get out in the summers and I guess have to make our own food but also get to make our own food it's just it's really fun because we don't normally get to do that and so we've been just taking turns making dinner each night for the uh, few of us who are here and so we thought we would take advantage of an opportunity to make a fun video expect to see just a few more generic not necessarily Coast Guard related videos in the next few months, but also I'll throw a few Coast Guard videos in there too to give you the information that I think is beneficial. So, you know, there's lots of different stuff going on and I just think it's fun to be able to share about my experiences and the lessons and ways that I'm growing. So, you know, go ahead and like this video and go ahead and subscribe because like I said, it's fun and there's lots of cool things that I'm doing this summer and I would love to share it all with you and just share all the blessings that God has put in my life. So let's head into the grocery store. <laughs> It definitely slows down the process and it's much harder to shop when you're trying to film at the same time. <laughs> okay, so one thing that I forgot to mention is that we have very limited options of what we can cook with. We're staying in a hotel and so all we have is the crock pot that Sam bought and the hot plate skillet thing that Liz bought. And I have some bad vibes with that hot plate because I may or may not have set the fire alarm off the first time I even turned the thing on. I didn't even start cooking any food. There was no food on the hot plate, but the fire alarm went off because of the oil that was in it that Liz didn't wash out from the night before. So I set the fire alarm off and so I have some bad vibes from that. So tonight I'm going to attempt to cook some cheese tortellini with pesto and chicken and tomatoes and then make some broccoli on the side. So we'll see how that goes. And you know, if you have any recommendations for what we can cook with a crock pot, a skillet, and a microwave that are cheap and don't require taking up a lot of freezer slash fridge space, because we also don't have a big freezer or fridge, then let us know in the comments because we would love to hear it. And I mean, we're having fun being creative because again, this is this is honestly my first time having to ever cook for myself, really. Thanks, mom. So we're learning, you know, we're learning. I'm honestly I'm excited to learn how to do it over time and when I live on my own next year. So it's a process, you know. Glad you guys could join me. Let me show y'all what we're working with. So this is our little hot plate skillet thing. I literally just plugged it in right here and then set off the fire alarm. So it was a great, great day. And then this is our little mini fridge and then our little mini microwave. <laughs> so, oh, and our very limited amount of counter space. It's kind of a mess right here right now, but oh, yeah. So it's a little tricky. We're not, we don't have many, many options, but we're learning. I'm gonna make some lunch here in a second, but today is graduation day for the class of 2021. And so, well, Presidente is speaking at their commencement ceremony. That's super cool. Congrats, 2021. For lunch today, we have leftovers from our tacos a few nights ago. So I'm gonna be making a taco salad with all this stuff. And if you don't already know this, plain Greek yogurt tastes the same, if not way better than sour cream and it's much healthier for you. So use plain Greek yogurt. Yeah, 
Here's what we got. We have frozen broccoli. Oh boy. Frozen tortellini. Everyone hates my frozen food, but this is frozen too. I know. Okay, so, we, yeah. <laughs> so we, we don't have a stove to boil water to cook this tortellini. So it has some microwave instructions and we got some bowls. And so we're gonna just microwave small portions of, of it at a time. And then we're gonna put it in a big frozen Ziploc bag to mix it up with the pesto and chicken. Yeah, I'm so excited, it smells so good. I don't know how to make it. We'll see how it works. I don't even know if it will. I mean, I don't know why not. I think the microwave's gonna get overpowered, so I'm sending the broccoli with Sam. A key tip if you're sick of frozen chicken or don't want to use frozen chicken, you can just get rotisserie chicken and then pick it all off and put it in a bowl and that makes for really good chicken that you can just add to anything or just eat by itself. That's what we got going on here. Honestly, this worked way better than I thought it was going to. Like this is almost just easier than any other way to do it. You just put the pasta in a bowl with some water and put it in the microwave, that's it. And then I think mixing the sauce and the chicken in, in a plastic bag, like you just put it in a freezer Ziploc bag and mix it together and it's so easy. So good. Oh my god. I thought that I was roasting you for your freezer meals, but this is like, mm -hmm. it's easier, man. All right, got some chicken, pesto, tortellini. I'm gonna put some tomatoes on there, but not everyone oh, likes yeah. tomatoes, but. And then we got some nice steamed broccoli. Woo. Okay, so this morning, went to the gym. I woke up feeling very moody, but feeling much better now, so. If you're feeling moody, go get a good workout in. Makes things a lot better. I think I'm gonna make some avocado toast this morning. Super basic. But then I'm also, we went to Whole Foods yesterday and I had a gift card. And so I bought a bunch of frozen fruit because this has this little smoothie thing. I don't know how well it's gonna work, but we're gonna try it. Try to make a smoothie with all my frozen fruit. So we'll see how that goes. I decided we're no longer making avocado toast. I'm really glad Liz isn't here to see this because <laughs> it's going in the trash. <laughs> okay, so we might not have been able to make avocado toast, but I'm still gonna take this stuff out there. We got some nice lettuce, cheese, turkey, and avocado to make a nice egg scramble. So no avocado toast, but egg scramble's just as good, right? Don't worry, we brought the hot plate outside so we don't set off the fire alarm. Again, that would not be good.
think this doesn't look too bad. Let's try it. Mm. Okay, this is actually really good. <laughs> I'm no master chef. I'm no Jordan Lindsay, but but uh, it's pretty good, I have to say. Improvising, you know? I feel like that's how people get good at cooking is they just start throwing random things together and figure out that they taste good. So, yay. What are you cooking this morning, Sam? Uh, I have this ground beef that I bought last week. <laughs> and if I don't cook it, it's gonna go bad. So, I'm gonna cook the ground beef and the leftover vegetables <laughs> and some cheese so it doesn't go bad. <laughs> Sam bought a crock pot when we first got here. And he, this is only his second time using the crock pot, but he made pulled pork today. So what did you do? Just put it in the crock pot, that's it? Uh, I bought uh, a pig shoulder and I dry rubbed it. Bought a bunch of spices at the exchange, uh, at the commissary, and then put it in the crock pot when I left at 6.30 this morning about it. <laughs> I made a quesadilla. Yeah. From my microwave. <laughs> what do we got for our sides here, Sam? Uh, so we have onion or mushrooms and green beans. Yeah. Ooh, I they were just those. microwave separately because the green beans were frozen and the mushrooms were fresh. <laughs> They're microwave and I just like mix them together. <laughs> and then we have hearty salad. Mm, hearty which is salad. Just vegetables. <laughs> In a bag with some Normal avocado salad. and yogurt. Avocado's good. To make them let's hefty. look at this. Let's look at this pulled pork. I mean, it looks edible. That's all I know. What's that? <gasps> Those are the fries. Really good. Yes, yeah. leftover fries. <laughs> nice. Let's see. Tell us what you think of olives, because Sam and I really like them, but these losers think that they're not very good. So I was take. considerate though, and I I just <laughs> left them out. Yeah, because so, we'll eat them. So no. They can just add them to their salad, should they choose. That's good. I'm just gonna use this knife as a fork. So tonight, we're making avocado toast. I got some toast and put it in the hot plate. It's a little crispy at this point, take that out. And a couple of eggs, over hard, because I don't like the yolk. And then we got some avocado that Aaron's cutting, he's doing the berries. And whipped cream. Mm -hmm. Whipped cream in the blender. Yeah, he put heavy whipping cream in the blender and cream in the blender. No sugar too. Yeah, no sugar added to this meal, except for less than one gram of the bread. <laughs> it was the least amount we could find in the bread. Well, that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with us. Next week, I'm going to be talking about swab summer and just some final tips and tricks that I have for y'all. So make sure you tune in next Monday and I'll see y'all later.